Welcome, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal. I'm Mike Crowley, and I am joined once again by Lisa Gibellario of the Wayside Youth and Family Support Network. Lisa also is coordinator of the Belmont Wellness Coalition. So good to see you again, Lisa. Thank you, Mike. Good to be here. All right. Well, today we're talking about doom scrolling, something especially topical this, this week. What can you tell us? Yes, so doom scrolling involves getting immersed in, getting lost in negative or distressing online news. So it literally, Mike, involves just scrolling on social media sites, fixating on, on the news and on the turmoil for long periods of time. Um, doom scrolling kind of became a thing during the pandemic, and this is because people had more time on their hands and they felt overwhelmed by the constant news updates. So, Lisa, I'm as guilty as anyone about doing this, but what's your sense of why people do this? Well, to be honest, Mike, some people actually will say that they feel that keeping on top of the news updates calms them or they feel like checking a wide variety of news sources is a way to get accurate information. But I have to say for, for many of us, it just raises our anxiety levels. Well, and that brings me to my next question, Lisa, and that's, you know, what is the impact on our mental health of doom scrolling? Well, again, for many of us, it definitely does increase our anxiety. Um, it can lead to overwhelming stress, which over periods of time can lead to depression. Um, it helps to create a sense of helplessness over what's happening. And it also creates something called re reality distortion, where everything just seems negative and overwhelming. Um, I think, you know, pro these prolonged dives into the news disrupt our sleep. And it just makes it harder to disconnect from everything that's happening in the world. So in short, I would say that, yeah, it impacts our mental health and it can create constant worry and increased anxiety. So Lisa, um, you know, this is really helpful to know. Um, I also wanna ask you, um, you know, this, this obviously affects our kids. What advice have you got for parents who have kids who are overly immersed in the news events, spending too much time online? Well, I would say first and foremost is to open up a conversation and to discuss with your kids the, those negative impacts that we just reviewed. That will help your kids to understand why it's so important to take breaks from the news. You know, you can explore as a family, ways to set time limits. Parents can suggest alternative activities, you know, game night or movie night or getting outside as a way to redirect focus. And parents can also look into putting controls on cell phones and laptops and, and devices so that they can shut off the internet at certain hours. And this might be really helpful for younger kids. Anything else to know, Lisa? I would say that we all need to validate each other. Um, there's a lot going on in the world right now. You know, our country is, is you know, just been through an election. There are major wars happening. We've had several storms that were devastating. So validate your kids if they're feeling upset. Um, let them know that taking these news breaks is as important for our health as anything we do physically, right? Mental health is physical health. And, you know, again, maybe just explore other options. You know, one thing my family did many, many years ago when we were growing up was we just watched the evening news together and talked about that 30 minutes. You know, obviously there were no devices, but, you know, maybe just consider ways to discuss what's happening in the world without doing these prolonged deep dives. All right, thank you so much, Lisa. This is really helpful advice. And taking a break from the news can, from time to time can be really helpful. So we will see you next time.